down. We're having leftovers, which is very rare for Nick and I. Yes. But for some reason, now that we're home, it's easy to have leftovers because we actually eat them. But it's weird how our leftovers end up being because sometimes well, they're, they're... There's also a story to this, isn't there? Why are we having this tonight, this low point, this zero point dinner? Well, because we had pancakes when we shouldn't have. Yes, so last night at about uh, 11 o'clock, we yeah. had pancakes. Yes. Six points, and we're like, we'll just put them to tomorrow. They're so breakfast. They're breakfast. breakfast. So our breakfast today was six points, six points of pancakes, and so we're eating a zero point dinner. We had a zero point, point lunch, one point. Zero point lunch, now zero point, well, almost zero point dinner. And yeah, so. And it was all leftovers. I had made some mashed cauliflower and carrots earlier this week and there was a lot of it. I'm like, we're never gonna eat all this. So I threw that in the fridge and I was like, oh, I'll figure something out to make with it. And I made chili and you know, Nick has always said, I don't like chili. I found a way to make it and I like it. It's a quick chili. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll probably release Ooh, that pizza looks delicious. I don't know whose it is, but that looks really good. But we'll be releasing uh... But we'll be releasing this. And to me, I call oh, it a Christina. Quick... Christina's pizza. I call it a quick chili because I take the ground turkey, throw it in a pan. I use my marinara sauce, throw that into it. After the ground turkey's cooked, I add black beans. Nick is actually eating black beans, people. Yeah, no. This is like, oh! And I put in the entire can, not just half. And he likes it. I normally put an edamame for him because he loves edamame. I and love. it's great in chili. Really yummy because it stays. We are not smushy bean people. No. We don't like it when they, they mush. So we like uh, the edamame because they're firm. And there's some spinach and a can of corn and it took and a package of PC brand chili spices. And then of course, you know, I add extra spices. And it's awesome. It takes like 20 minutes to make. So and one thing, so I think I wanna ask everybody who's on Facebook right now, tell us where you're from. A lot of people have been saying we're people from Illinois here. Cool. There's people from we have 41 uh, people. Well, Even in the chat in Zoom, tell us where, tell everyone where you're from. I know a lot of guys change your names. How many people do we have in Zoom right now? We have about 24 people in Zoom. 22 We're gonna wait actually. a few more minutes to see if we can get a few more people to yep. go log on. We're gonna start around five after with, yes. with uh, the actual Zoom And there chat. is a topic this week. We're actually, what we've decided yes. to do is now the Zoom uh, workshop roulette will always have a theme when we actually start these. And this week we're actually going to do um, a lot of the habits. Weeks. A lot of the weeks we will be using the actual workshop topic because we think it's really cool to talk about what we we're talking about this week. As much as you want to hear it, again, funny thing is that to this week's topic is habits. Mm -hmm. So making something a habit is yeah. sometimes having to hear it over and over and over and over again. So I think it's good that we do talk about this stuff tonight. And, um, and, and then also, in some weeks we will have guests. Yeah. Where you'll be able to interact with We actually thought of a guest today and we're, we're going to ask, I want to ask that person mm -hmm. next, for next week and she's willing to do it. Because we have someone that we want to ask. She's been on our show before. Mm -hmm. Not as a WWE member, but now she is a WWE member. Exactly. I was like, so, where is he going with this? Because we've thought, we've spoken about so many things today that you, I... We've talked about it today. Ah, totally so, agree with that now. Funny thing is, is we did call her to ask her if she wanted to join this tonight. evening. Yeah. But she's having... But nice she's having dinner, dinner with, with her... Yeah, with her she's dad. having dinner with her dad. Yeah. In a garage, yeah. social distancing, which I thought was very cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm just putting in this. The funny thing is, though, I have to say it, as she answered and we, we did like a FaceTime chat, because that's how we call people now through FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the way to call people. So, did a FaceTime, and then they know that she's now doing WW, and they know we're WW people. So, hit, her dad was like, Oh, don't show him the lasagna and don't show him this and don't and, and but then as, step as, she's, up, as she's walking away, I'm like we'll have some lasagna. We'll have some. I'm can like, I wish we were some, over. Yeah, like, can, can you fax away? it? Can you email it over? No. We firmly believe in enjoying life, mm -hmm. just not enjoying it every day. That's why we always concentrate on healthy foods at home. That's why we have zero point dinners. We eat chicken. We eat vegetables because we know at home it's we have one, control. We have of that. control. So when we go in other places, when we allow ourselves to indulge a bit more, and that's that's work for us. It's work for us for our entire journey now. Again, I'm going to show this. If anybody wants to join the Zoom room, that's two six six five nine eight three four six eight. And I'm letting people in right now. Password is J L N I C K. We like waiting until there's a good enough amount of people in there, so we have some numbers to go with. I'm letting people in. Just give me a second, everyone. 
So, I have the side chili. I made the chili, which I love now. I wish I would have remembered to put the edamame in and I forgot, but we normally do. And then with the side uh, cauliflower and um, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Yeah, it is cauliflower. Yeah, it is. I always mix wow, it up. Wow, you said the right one. I said it for the right, the first time right. I can't believe it. Is this Sigourney Weaver, honey? Yes. Oh, I will never okay, live Say this that down. story, honey. Say that story. Please tell I will that never story. this down. Please tell them the we story. We were in our condo in Mississauga. We lived in a, a townhouse condo in Mississauga when we first moved in together at some point. And... We were playing, what game were we playing? I don't it's one of those remember. games you have to guess. You have to guess famous people. It was probably, um, it's some, it was a guessing game of some kind. And he named every single movie. I was like, movie. Avatar, Alien. Alien. I was naming every single movie. And, and I, knew, I knew who he was talking about, but could not think of her name for the life of me. Nothing. That Sigourney Weaver would not come out of my mouth whatsoever, and he named everything. And then the next time we played another game very similar, same difference. He, it was uh, Angelica Houston. Angelica Houston. I was naming, I was like, uh, The Witches. The Witches. Um, uh, um, uh, um, I was family. Yeah, all of, I was, yeah, exactly. And he mm -hmm. still couldn't get them, and I was like, I'm not yeah. really good when you put me like no. on the spot like that. No. And I wanted to say, say we got a lot of people coming in with uh, locations. We have some. We have someone from Australia watching and uh, joining us tonight. So that's awesome. So people from DC, from the states, Illinois, Las Vegas, um, Quebec, Pennsylvania, New Brunswick, um, Nanaimo. We've got people from like everywhere. So thanks for joining us tonight. And those for some of you, it's not really dinner though. Mm -mm. I think we're ready. Oh yeah, we're, we're two minutes late. All right, so let's get started. I'm just making sure. We're two minutes late. Two minutes late. Late for an important date. I feel like the rabbit. From Alice, is that Alice in Wonderland, right? Yes. I, do. I know, I'm like. Okay, so. It's funny, now that we don't have that many, we're not with our niece and nephew that often anymore. We do Zoom with them as much as possible, but we don't have many children around us anymore. Because even Pam and Jacob, who had the kids, mm -hmm. always kept us somewhat up yeah, date with yeah. stuff. I have one more person coming in. So, hon, I will give you a number. We'll talk to someone first, and I'll I give her many other people after. Okay? Uh, that's what I'm ready so for. So, the first one, we'll, we'll be missing a few people in the rotation, but we'll get them in after. I'm Melanie, just. Melanie Bells just joined too. I want to let her in too. Okay, give me a second. We're getting one more person in, and then we're going to take a break, and then I'll. Okay, so I'll pick a number between 1 and 30. Wow, that's awesome. So one in 30. So here we go, guys. First, workshop roulette. I don't know how Arlene did it. And where did it land? It landed on number nine. Number nine. So who's number nine? I have to go find number nine now. It's a whole like mathematical equation here, people. Um, it's Heather Pike. Heather Pike! Which is kind of awesome. So what we will do that is- That is will... actually really cool. I'm so glad it's Heather. Yeah. Is she still here, though? I hope so. Uh, I don't see her. No, I don't think I see her anymore. Did she leave? Is that because the last year? Oh, she's right there. Oh, I see no, her. We I found see her. her. Yeah, found oh, yes. her. Because it's Heather Niagara here, isn't yes. it? Oh, my God. Hi, Heather. Oh. Oh, yay. Okay, I'm going to put you louder. Put you louder. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't even ask us how we're doing, because we, we heard, heard what's going on. <laughs> so... Miss, can, 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 do you mind if, no, we'll ask you. So what happened today, Heather? Yes. <laughs> so this morning, whoops, sorry. <laughs> this morning, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> this morning I, uh, I left the house at three o'clock and I had surgery. I had my gallbladder removed and a hernia operation. And you're sitting in front of your, I, your phone right now. Coming to have dinner with well, us. I have, yeah. Because it's important to me and it ends my, it doesn't end my week, but it's something I look forward to. Aww. And I have my prescription beside me, so <laughs> you're my, uh, my good night story. Aww. So I'm going to have dinner with you guys and then I'm going to go and take a Oxycontin thing they gave me and go to bed. But I, I, oh, I love definitely, those, definitely, those definitely. definitely help sleep. And it's kind of funny because when you, we were, 
eavesdropping in on the conversation. So for everybody that knows, when you come into the Zoom room and we are blocked, we hear everything you're saying. Yes, we are. So be nice, people. No, I'm just joking. You guys are The reason, nice. so we'll explain, I'll, I'll cut in for a second and explain. So what we do is we open Zoom about an hour early because the setting up of Zoom takes so much time that it helps me if people log in early. So thank you everyone who came in early. Thank you, Heather, because you were in early. And so it helps us out a lot. So thank you so much. And that's why. Okay. So what was really funny is when you mentioned your story about having your gallbladder taken out and hernias. I've had both surgeries, both. Oh. Yes, so oh. I had my gallbladder taken out years ago um, when I was at my big, like at one of my biggest at that point and it was terrible. Yeah. I, they were supposed to do laparoscopic and they weren't able to. They actually had to yeah, go in. Yeah, a huge scar. And I have a huge scar because of it. Which you can barely yeah. see anymore, but it's a scar oh, that goes all the way here. Oh. And when he was bigger, if you ever see a picture of him shirtless when yeah. he was bigger, you see it was always stretched out. It was always purple. It was always purple. Yeah. So now you can barely, I was like, I okay, can't no, even pink. see it. The other one was purple. Yeah. And then, and then, so oh. when they did it, they actually had to go in and take it out and it was full of stones. It was so big there. They couldn't believe it. I, I always said that the doctor retired the next day because it felt like they butchered my scar, but I guess that's how big my gallbladder was. Um, and then not, and then on Halloween in 2016, I want to say, is when I had my her hernia surgery. So, sorry, someone on YouTube is asking for the the room. So number. I can, I know what you're going through, but the fact that you're sitting there right now and you just had surgery today, I think you're on a good. You know, you need to take it easy, mind you. I'm not saying overdo anything, but it yeah. goes to show how strong you are. Like, kudos to you. Well, I, believe me, I, it was it was hard to walk into the hospital. Definitely, it was hard to walk into a hospital alone. Yeah. So that was really difficult, um, and just because of everything that's going on, but um, it hadn't happened, so I didn't want to have it to be an emergency. No, exact. That's exactly it. You're taking care of yourself, and you're making yourself a priority, and that's what you did, even in these hard times, which a lot of people aren't doing, unfortunately. So be proud of yourself yeah. for doing that. Like, honestly, be extremely proud of yourself for doing that. Thank you. You're so welcome. But, and, and it's so funny because, you know, you're treating yourself number one. And again, our topic this week, I'm going to bring it up, is habits. So how do you, what do you feel about habits? Like, do you have, do you feel your habits have changed? Dramatically. So this is, uh, I've lost a lot of weight before. But this time, all of the same things that you guys talk about all the time. Sunday, um, since I've started following you uh, a year and a half ago or so, every Sunday night, when you guys have our meeting, that's our that's my prep time. So I prep for the entire week with you. I think I started doing it one time you prepped on a Sunday night show. And uh -huh. um, so I started doing it. Is I remember you were going, anyway, so I started doing it. So every Sunday I prep for the entire week. Um, I prep my snacks, I prep my lunches, I prep my breakfast, and I prep some bigger meals for dinners, similar to you guys. And that there gives me so much control that I don't have to think. So that's a habit that um, I have done religiously and I feel like this time, I've been struggling losing on the last little bit to get to goal, but I know I'll get there. I don't know what year, but I'll get there. And I know that that, that for me will keep me in, in check. That's awesome. And I love what you just said there is you said, I don't know what year, but I know I'll get there. Like those are words yeah. that like, if anybody, if, if, if you need a tattoo, Tattoo that. That would be a great tattoo. That's honestly, the th that's the thing. That's the lesson we learned this time too. Then that's why we always talk about it a lot because mm -hmm. it's, it's a lesson that we actually learned this final time. Because every time we did this before, we always talk about this. It was always our reason to, for doing this. And we're not saying your why. We're not saying that these whys are terrible. We're saying that it didn't work for us. Those whys were not good enough for us to keep going. So when we would join, it was always, oh, I want to fit into. I want to look better for our wedding. The next time, oh, I want to fit into these clothes because I have them and I, I want to fit back into them. It wasn't until it became yeah. that we wanted to be healthy and live a long life that we didn't change and make... Yeah, so funny, change oh, me. sorry, I'm <laughs> saying something for later. <laughs> I just look at it in the corner right there. Corn! <laughs> ah. So, 
Yeah, so that's the thing. When we changed that aspect, that's what made it work for us because mm. we changed how our, like now that we were trying to be healthy, it wasn't for a specific goal but, in time, it was forever. We just kept going. Right, and that's the thing. The thing is, is that in or, I think what we did though is we created these habitual things. I think that's what ends up happening on this journey is once you start finding things that you like doing and you make them become part of your norm, where you don't even need to think about doing it. Like they talked about it in the workshop right. this week was brushing your teeth. I hope, I, I, I'm really hoping we all get up in the morning and brush our teeth, I do. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I know I've, and I've been guilty where I've not done it right away and I went, oh my God, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. And it freaks me out all of a sudden. Like, why haven't I brushed my teeth? Like, this is not something normal for me to not do. But, I think once these habits that we start like adapting to and these habits now no longer become habits because they become normal, they become regular, that really does make a huge change. It makes an, a drastic change. Absolutely. And I think, um, so when we have our whys, we all know that. And I think the habits are, are part of our house. So you both have become you know, part of my how, because um, wow. this week, days you words, um, you didn't exercise in the morning, and I realized how weak I am because then it gave me an excuse not to do that, and I was like, that's not smart, Heather, that's not for you, and you're not putting pressure on you guys, but you're part of my how, my prepping. What's funny though, Heather, was Sunday night because of you. you're all part of our how. We've talked about this openly. We would not be as successful without you guys. You guys make us want to keep going. Sometimes we'll be lying in bed in the morning. Oh, we don't. Oh, but they're all waiting for us to work out, and so we will get up because we know you guys are waiting for us. So it's a kind of a two-way. We're help. We're all helping each yeah. other out. We're all being trying to each, help each other be accountable in both ways so that we can succeed together. And I loved how you said that. And I want to thank you for allowing. It, like, for the, I, I'm honored that I, we are part of your how. Like, I'll absolutely honor that we're part of your house. Yeah, that, that's honored. Like, to even think about and I, your video this week about the uh, chicken, the kitchen hacks, <coughs> um, those events, that's, that's forming new habits, and that became a how. I mean, I went and got two ideas from that that will now be part of my house. So it's like this, not a bed of tricks, but it's these little things <laughs> that now I know that that's going to help me keep my why. And it's, how so and it's really funny that you say this because i was just talking to my mom before we got onto this room and i was talking to her and how she's now been at home alone and um she has a few people in her complex that she socially distances with but a group invited her to a zoom chat room and i taught her how to zoom and so now i'm hoping this becomes a habit for her because now she'll be able to spread out this She'll be able to actually communicate with other people other than they're just the same people. So it, I, I, I just, I think people need to start looking at habits as being such a positive well, thing. I was talking to Alec earlier about the IKEA behind us is now open. Um, it's open again. And so I told him like the world now has to, the companies are rather, and the, instead of staying closed, companies are now opening, but they're taking the precautions to make sure people are going to be social distancing and trying to be clean as much as they can to make sure no one gets sick. Because no company wants to open and be like, I'm the, I, Ikea on uh, 5406 five, causes, you know, mass, uh, mass outbreak. People don't want to hear that bad publicity. So each company that are opening up right now, it's, that's the new norm. And that's what's going to start happening. Things will start opening up. Things we will are be going different. to have to create new habits. Yeah, new habits from that. Yeah, for sure. You know, walking out and wearing masks yeah. now. And that's going to have to become part of our new norm. So are we ready for a, a next, uh, next number? So I Thanks so much, Heather. Take those medications. Get some rest. And yeah. you, know, you know we're here for you, no matter what. I just thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Love you both. We love you too. You guys have no idea how like you guys make us feel. It's just It's mind-blowing and then I want to thank everyone for all the birthday wishes this week um, It was a very crazy birthday. I ran a 10k on my birthday That was only the second time I ran in like months and I was just like I gotta do this see if I can do it. and I did it So I'm, I was very happy. You've with that. never run a 10k before though. I have Really like outside once once in my life, maybe 
So I, I've done it before, but this was the first time in years that I had even attempted it. So it, to me, it was like a very like, big moment. It's huge. I remember when I did it, I, I ran 10K on a treadmill, mind you, which is very different, but still 10 kilometers. It was crazy when I did that. It was like mind boggling. So the person that we will be chatting with is... Who is it? Just checking. I, I'd like to check if they're still here. Before I want to make sure they're still here. <laughs> and I'll unmute them. Okay, so I asked her to unmute. So it's Mary from Brampton. Mary from Brampton. And I'm going to mute. Hi, Mary. She did it herself. Hi, Mary. Were you able to unmute yourself? Uh, yeah. There we go. Hello. Hi. From our neck of the woods. From our old neck of the woods. Yes. How's it going? Do you remember meeting with Phil at your garage sale? Yes, I do. Wow. Awesome. Wow, that's. She's actually doing good. She's on a journey. She's lost 32 pounds. Wow. That's fantastic. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. And that's so funny because my mom just asked me the other day about that blanket. And I said, I it was give it, it was to a good family. And she's like, okay, cool. Yeah. And Phil has that blanket. Yeah. And she got a new kitty. Oh, we'll have to send her a message on Facebook. I'll have to send her a message and say hi. Actually, it's kind of funny. I'm going to say this real quick. Phil was at a baseball game with her daughters. Yeah. Were, you Last were there year. too, weren't you? No, you? Weren't you? You weren't there. No, we were messaging you. We were messaging you. We were saying, That's so right. we were happened to be at this work event and we were at the same baseball game. So... Phil sent us a message on Facebook or Instagram saying, oh my goodness, we're at the same baseball game. And her daughter said, they're not going to come see you, mom. Like, come on. And who shows up behind her? Us. So her daughters couldn't believe it. They're like, they actually came saw you. And then they sent, they were sending, um, we were sending messages back and forth with Mary. So it was kind of, it was like really funny. It was fun. And, and found out that we lived really close by to each other in Brampton. And they came to our garage sale, which is really weird because that, we just spoke to okay. the owners of the house right now and they're making changes and it's kind of, yeah. they want us to come over. We know the see. owners. We know the owners. They're, they're, they're our, our neighbors. neighbors. So we know our them. neighbors bought our house. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. So how are you doing, Mary? Mm. I'm good. I'm down to 57 pounds lost. Wow. wow. So how, when, when did you start your journey? Uh, it'll be a year in June. A year in June. Okay. And in this year, what is your, what is the habit that you could actually say, like from the top, the, uh, your new habit, the newest habit that you never thought you'd ever have? Uh, well, it's kind of hard. I mean, it's, it's making sure you don't fall, like even if you fall off the wagon, you gotta go back onto it because it's just another day. Self-compassion. I don't know. It's just, there's, yeah, there's so many different things. Like, to me, I just prep everything. Prep everything, that's the only way I'm going to mm -hmm. get things going. What was the, what was the, okay, out of those two, which one was the easiest for you to, to, to establish first? The prepping stuff. Mm -hmm. I've done Weight Watchers before, two, um, two other times, and I was successful, but I never became... Repeat right. offenders! Raise your hands up in the air if you're a repeat offender! <laughs> woo -woo -woo! Put your hands up in the, the air. air. Put, Put your hands, hands up, up in the air. air. We are not ashamed of it. You will never be ashamed of it. It took all those times to learn what we needed to learn. And so we are proud repeat that's offenders. Right. And that's the analogy again. We did it. That's we right. fell. We might not have came back right away, but we came back. We did it. We that's fell. Right. We came back. We did it. We fell. That's right. We came back. Sometimes yes. that coming back took a lot longer, but... Now it doesn't take us as long to get back because we know where we are better off. That's right. Yeah. So, so for a new member, what would you tell them? Uh, how would you explain what a habit does for you? Like what do you, what, like if a new member was like, okay, so why am I having to create habits? Like, wh why is that so well, important? I, I tell Phil, I'm Phil's support. So. You know, Love it. She falls off. I tell her it's okay. It's just another day, and you just keep going. I want to see Phil. That's awesome. Me too. I want to see Why her. Why isn't she in this room? Yeah. 
Mm. Mm. Wow. We'll send her a message, though. We will definitely send her a message. It was awesome chatting with you, Mary. Thank you. We'll see you on tomorrow night dance party. Mm. Woo dance party! So, it's funny because today I actually made up our entire schedule today. So, I'm actually going to show you guys. This is a, just the quick... I have no clue what he's doing. I'm oh. going to eat my corn. Yeah, you eat oh, your corn. I said corn. Oh, Matt, you guys better eat your, drink your water. So today, oh, he's talking about, I, I thought he was going to share something on the screen. I was like, wow, he got high tech. Like, this is our calendar for the month. Ooh, you guys can't make out what it says, though. So all the per pink ones are all videos. And everything else is, these are our live shows. So we're, that's, people always ask us how we do all this. This is how. We have calendars, and we have lists. And yes, our lives are very structured, but that's how we get to do all this stuff. So we have a lot of stuff coming out. One of the things that someone talked about a few minutes ago was um, like the, the summer things, like talking about, we actually thought of it earlier, a video about summer- Party hacks. Party hacks. So what we do when we go to parties, what we do when it's summertime, how things, how we- We, we might work. throw in not how to, like uh, ideas for recipes that yeah. you can look for that we've heard of. For parties For summer well. parties that at least when you bring something, you know, if nothing else is there, you can eat what you brought because it's WW friendly and you don't feel, you know? But we also have rules with parties. Yeah. We also have rules where... You guys know our rules, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that should be a word of the week. Rules? Would you guys want word of the week be rules? <laughs> that would be a good one. Because that would be a really good one. So mm -hmm. we should probably write that down. I might switch stuff around there. Rules. So, okay, ready for the next number? I have been. Sorry, honey. I just, I, 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 I want to talk sometime. You're more than welcome to talk anytime. Okay, let's I'm enjoying see. dinner. I also, today I, I did taxes yesterday and today and I just say it's, meh, I hate doing taxes. They're due on Monday. Mm. The funny part about it though, yes. like it's kind of weird how certain things happen. So he said, oh, I gotta do taxes. And I'm like, oh, did I send you my receipt for last year for the professional organization that I'm in? He's like, no, I don't think you did. Oh, I didn't do that today. <laughs> but I'm like, let me go get it for you. I'll find it and I can send you the, like, the copy. So I go into the website. The renewal for my membership for this year is up in like two days. So if it wouldn't have been for that, I would have been late. And then there would have been additional cost to it. And I was like, ah! So sometimes things just happen for a reason, right? So I'm going to check. I found someone. I'm going to see if they're still here. Excellent. So we did find someone. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I'm saying this out loud. Yes. So we are I speaking. I love chili. We are speaking to Linda Glencross next. This is a new person. Yes. I, think. I don't Hi, think we've Linda. ever spoken to Linda before. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hello. Everybody was saying it's a lot of post-it notes. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? You. Let me see if it's. I think she unmuted herself, and then you know. Uh, let's see. I just have to find her again on the list. No, we can't hear you. Okay, there we go. Am I muted? Now yes, you are. are. Woo -woo. Hi, Linda. My friends, do I win? Ah, <laughs> you winning? Chat with Dinky us. Dinky car. <laughs> yeah, chat with us. Wah, wah. Hello. You're stuck with us. Yeah, you're stuck with us. Yay. Well, it goes two ways now. Ah. Well, no, we're not stuck. We we're asked happy. you guys to come yeah, join us, so to come we don't us. feel stuck whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, we're very excited. We're very happy to have everyone here. Yeah. So where are you from, Linda? Well, I'm from London, but I grew up in Montreal. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Wow. Gave yeah. me. <laughs> How long have you been in Moncton? Yeah. Like, have you been in Moncton for a while? A long time, yeah. I, I, bought, I ran a bed and breakfast, and then I sold that in December 2017. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's so okay. Funny. Okay, okay, because okay, you asked, you asked the question. No, it's so funny because Nick and I, for a I've long time, of, have thought about opening a bed and breakfast. It was one of the things. One of the things we thought we would possibly do, and do it almost like a WW kind of bed and breakfast, where we'd be there and you'd like we'd cook in the kitchen, and but then there'd be it's, friendly recipes. Like, yeah, there'd be WW friendly recipes. Where there'd be activity. There'd be stuff like that, and people would spend the weekend. But. 
I don't know how that would work anymore. It would be interesting how that would work. I think it would be doable, but like it would a lot be... of the ideas we had, they're all in the back burner. Yeah, no. we had we had an idea of yeah. WWE gays at Wonderland. Yeah, we had WWE gays with camping with the WWE gays. Yeah. That was an idea we had as well. We had so many ideas, but uh... it's okay. You know what? It's re adapting to the new realities, right? Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And adapting sometimes means you need to create new habits, right? So how long how long have you been with WW? I have been uh, my first time through. I was thirteen. Wow. And then, yeah. You yeah. know what? I wish I would have been brought at thirteen. Me too. I wish I would have been brought. I wish I would have. Well, I think I think the thing is, is then then you measured like half a cup of string beans, and you had A vegetables, and then you had B vegetables. Yeah. Vegetables. Okay, the program today. <laughs> yeah. The program today at 13 would be great. Yeah, yeah. So, so fast forward, because I'm 29 now. Uh, forever. Yeah. Um, the, 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 I, I lost a lot of weight on the, on the, the free, free food. And when they said you could eat as much, or you, you know, they didn't count, the points didn't count, I didn't count them, and I ate them. Like apples and, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's taken two or three years this go around. I've been a couple of times, but I couldn't do it when I was running the bed and breakfast. I was too tired. I was just too tired. And I was baking, and I was cooking, and I was cleaning, and I was just too exhausted. And I knew in my head that I had to wait till I, I finished. Wow. But yeah. good for you for so knowing. Enjoying, but all the whole time I was doing the bed and breakfast, I was also exercising. Yeah. So to, keep my, to strengthen my back for all the physical work. So that stood me in good stead. So now I can lift up small buildings and I swim. Woo woo! That's awesome. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. And I love hearing that, like stories of people that, it's, it's true, life do, does throw you curveballs. It does. It happens. Things happen that are out of your control. It's what you do with each situation. Sometimes, like, we couldn't be perfect all the time. We say, say this all the time to everyone. You can't expect We had pancakes at 11 o'clock last, last night. night. <laughs> like, you know what I, I mean? I love pancakes. Oh. They were protein pancakes. Yes, and it was blueberries and in I them. And I put blueberries in them for him. They were him. delicious. It was his birthday, too, and I was like, I didn't, I didn't get cake. He didn't get a cake. I got pancakes. He got pancakes. Right? Pancakes are good. Yeah, and pancakes I, are good. I used to make girl girl breakfast and boy breakfast, oh. and pancakes was the girl breakfast. Oh. And in the pancakes, I used to put the yogurt. Mm. Oh, yum! And, mm. you and you have a cake pancake, and then you put more yogurt and fruit on top. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, if you're using 0% fat-free Greek yogurt and then your own homemade palm poet, not too bad. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then I, I like that. I was going to ask you about, um, about your habits. Like, talk about the, how your habits have changed or how, how do you create a habit? How do you create a habit? Oh, well, the biochemistry of making a habit is approximately 28 days. Mm -hmm. You can, if you repeat yourself, if you repeat a habit three or four times a day for 21 days, your brain changes. So one of the things that I did, that I learned to do, was I, I make, I call it my takeout salad. So I just chop vegetables, put it in there, and then when I can't think, which I don't normally do, I can't think at all, <laughs> I go and grab some takeout salad, and I put the boiled eggs, and tonight I had a cob salad. I had corn, I had boiled eggs, I had ham thrown on top of kale, and each week mm. I would adopt a new vegetable. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Who knew I would like kale? Yeah. We always tell people like <laughs> some hat. We always tell people to. I like, love it. We always tell people to. Yeah, you have to find habits that you love. Well, that's the thing. Like, if you're well, doing you something, you you can get used to anything. Like, I didn't know if I liked kale, didn't like kale, didn't like Greek yogurt, but I just kept trying it. And the thing that I did is I took source yogurt and I mixed it in with the Greek yogurt so I got used to the Greek mm. yogurt. Ah. So that's kind of a smart yeah. trick that I've not heard many people do before. Like, wow. Like a half and half. That's, that's fun and ingenious. And the, other, yeah, the other thing that I do, I use the Greek yogurt and everything. And one of your butter chicken recipes, I, I did it once. I went to, went to Walmart, bought the little package of spices and everything, and then I cooked it. Once I cooked it without the yogurt, you have to leave the yogurt, here's a bit clue, you have to leave the yogurt at room temperature because if you heat it up, it curdles. Uh-huh. 
So I, the, I made the butter chicken, and then I tried the butter chicken recipe on fish. Oh, yum. How was that? It was good. What, it was good. What kind of fish did and you? It was frozen fish. It wasn't any special fish. Oh, okay. Was it like a tilapia, or was it like a... It's called, it was uh, technically sourced Bassa, B A S U. Bassu? Oh, cool. Uh, anyway, it was frozen, definitely sourced for 10 bucks. Yeah. And you know, so I tried it. Yeah, and not only that, what's cool you know, with, uh, with the worst that can happen. And exactly, if you're adding a sauce that you like onto something, most of the time you're gonna like it, right? Like, you know, what are the odds that you won't like it if it's something that you've already eaten and that you enjoy? So very cool. Well, the, the other thing I do with the bloody Greek food yeah, is I you take a, a, an eighth of a table, an eighth of a cup of salad dressing, craft, just any kind of craft dressing, and you mix it with the with a eighth of a tablespoon of Greek, Greek yogurt. yogurt. Yep. And you have a creamy dressing. Yep, I do that all the time with balsamic. I do that, like, I take our zero-point Caesar salad dressing, and yep. I don't, I, I like Caesar salad, but I'm more of a vinaigrette person, so I will take, a, like, a spoonful of that, and I'll drizzle either white balsamic on top, or a little bit of balsamic, red balsamic, or I'll, white wine vinegar, and then I'll mix that together, and it's amazing. My salad dressing is actually yogurt and sriracha. I actually put yogurt and sriracha together, and I put that on my salad, and I eat it that way, and it's so good, like, especially when you have a lot of fresh vegetables that are, like, not as... Like for example, cucumbers are very bland. Spinach, like all these vegetables, some of them are. So if you add the spicy sriracha, it really like makes it taste like I love spicy first of all. So anything spicy works. Oh, and someone was just saying, uh, Michelle uh, Zerber was saying she does salsa with yogurt and it makes like a creamy dressing. Yeah. But like that's so funny because when we make our taco salads, that's what I put. I put salsa, yogurt, and I don't put any dressing. That becomes the dressing. And yeah. we've embraced, I, we, we... I tend to leave my, my taco meat a little bit more on the moist side. So that adds more of a, a, a like creaminess. Yeah, a creaminess, sauciness. a sauciness to it. So yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's definitely like- One of the things that I do is I grate, I grate a carrot at the bottom of the takeout salad. And then when I, when I take the tongs to grab it, it, it all the all the toppings are on top, and the lettuce is at the bottom. Cool. Right. Very cool. That's how it works. I, 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 you have to be organized in this, but you have to also sort of, you have to have the food there. Yep. You know. You, you have to have go-tos. To yeah. You just have to have it. You like have to. You, you know, and then a snack with protein at night, and that's become Greek yogurt. I heat up the blueberries, the frozen blueberries, and I put the yogurt. It's, it's, now I've frozen the yogurt and put the blueberries in. Love it. For, because it's hot. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's awesome. I love hearing all the things that you've created and the habits that you created for yourself. But by what she's saying right now is exactly what we did. You yeah. invent stuff with these zero point ingredients. And eventually, some of them you will actually enjoy more than the original. There's certain things that we make now that we never had the original anymore because it's, we love the way it tastes with the yogurt now. Like when you make the mac and cheese with the Epicure and the carbonara, the pasta carbonara recipe, we really, we really. We oh my goodness, I made the carbonara yesterday, but instead of adding just Greek yogurt, I added some of my marinara sauce. So now to we, have a, we have a rose recipe. Oh my goodness. Oh, we can't wait to it changed the entire <laughs> recipe. I was like, oh my, that was amazing. And there's another thing that John Luke invented recently. So he's been taking fruit. I don't Inventing things. He's been taking, he took fruit and he boiled it down and he added gelatin to it so it became like a. But a, I also added some of the zero point syrups. Syrups. Like and then the he vanilla blended and the that and with yeah. a blender with Greek yogurt. It is so good. I mean, like, I want him to make a recipe mm -hmm. out of it because it's so good. Really fast is applesauce and uh, vanilla and a, whatever sweetener you like and it tastes like apple pop. Oh, that sounds um, yummy. Really, yeah, yeah. Love that it's idea. Really great. It was yeah. awesome chatting with you, Linda. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining mm -hmm. us. See you soon. Bye. So I already had the next person ready to go. I actually was, I, I, I'm actually learning how to do this now, slowly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next person we're speaking to is Jose. Jose from, from, from Quebec? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming. assuming. Hi, Jose. <laughs> Hello. How are you? You? This is so funny because I know we've chatted several times in chat, but we've never spoken in person. No, I'm so happy. Yeah. I have to show you. I'm babysitting my granddaughter. Oh, oh, that's your granddaughter. I love her. <laughs> she's born in March 
so she was just a little baby. And you did. She was trying to. Aww. He's like, she's getting too much attention and he's Aww. not getting ah. That's so cute. We love cats. Oh, so we, we love we, them. I just love you guys. Oh, you thank you. Love me so much. And so I've been wait for I've been wait watchers. I'm a repeat offender. So I'm an adult. Yeah, we're all repeat so offenders. My mind, uh, with weight watchers since 2017. I started at 278, and Thursday I was 204. So, whatever I'm at now. So, uh, last year and a half, I've been uh, like playing with a 10 pound, you know. I saw one time 199, and I haven't seen it since. But it happens. I think if I wasn't on Weight Watchers, I it would, would be worse. Be much more. Right? That's yeah. yeah. And I and love that you just said that, Jose, is like, where would you be if you still, if you didn't have the program right now? And it, it's so funny because I, I know that it sounds weird and we, I sometimes feel like when I'm talking, I'm preaching when it comes, and I don't mean to sound preachy, but it's so true though. Yeah. Right? Like we do feel yeah. that we wouldn't be yeah. where we are right now. If no. We would not be working out like we would be and, I, I, and eating this. We'd be eating like... Back in the day, oh my, oh my god, we would have gained 60 pounds by now because we would have not more. Yeah, we would have eaten everything out of the fridge. Well, that we no, have. we would not be in this condo. We would no, we still would, be at the yeah. house. We would we'd not have moved. We would not be moving. We, we would not be on YouTube. No. <laughs> and it's so funny that it does it, it, what it does do to your 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 mind. It really is funny what it does to your mind. So, what's a habit that you want to start? What's like what's a habit that you struggle with and that you'd like to not struggle with? Yeah. Is my weigh-in day is Thursday and it's pigging out on Thursday. Like after you had your weigh-in? I, I sort of allowed myself to do it, but it's now uh, looking forward to what am I going to eat on Thursday. Oh. That's what I'm to stop doing. Okay, so, so it's like. How do you think you can curb that? How, what are your ideas that, that you think can prevent you from doing that? I think I just need to do one Thursday that I don't do it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Be, maybe maybe your, your new rule, we talk about rules all the time. Maybe your new rule is I can only do it three weekends per month or three Thursdays per month. And that's, you have to pick your three and that's it. Once you've done, if you've done all three in a row, you can't do the next two. But if you've done, you know, two of them and you still have one left, you can wait, you can pick the Thursday you want to do it at. Because that's what we do a lot of. We do a lot of, we won't do it every day, but we'll pick two or three days that we'll do it so that we still feel like we can actually live. Because you don't want to get rid of your celebration. If that's something you enjoy, Obviously, you look forward to it. And we play the system, too. We do, too. Not? We just said, we, we add pancakes last points. night, and we, we put it today. And we put them today. <laughs> like, we, we. Yeah, you're making me crave pancakes now. <laughs> but you know what? Also, also, you know what we do? Our weigh-in is Saturdays, yeah. but our, re our week resets on Mondays. On Monday. We set up our phone to say that our weigh-in is actually Sunday. So that our, our weeks always align with the regular weeks. But so our we, weigh-ins are Saturdays. Our weigh-ins are Saturdays. So what it does for us is that we always have our, our points left over for the weekend, which is where we tend to eat that's the most. That's where we eat the most. And so, so we, we plan it that, that way. Yeah. We plan that way because yeah. we know that's where we're going to end up spending more points. Yes. And or have the... Because no matter what... Um, sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off. Oh, but okay. No matter what, even if your weigh-in day is a Thursday, but you set your phone to say Monday to Sunday is your week, It'll still count within each week because it'll just yeah. say you're weighed in early from your actual weigh-in day, but it'll still count as a normal weigh-in. Yeah. And so it, it's and even if you show it to the workshop and get weighed in at the workshop, you'll still get your yeah. 50 wellness wins. It still works the same because that's what we did all the time. It just, and for again, our, our life pattern. There's no rule that says no. you can't do that, yeah. right? No one's going to tell you how to put Believe what me, we want in your we, We've been WWS for a while. We like to cheat the system as much as we can. But it's not really <laughs> cheating the system. It's <laughs> just... Re we indulge, but we cheat the system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really not. Because when I'm on the Weight Watchers, I come back to it. That's what's making me Thank you. not do it over and yes. over yeah. in that way. And, and it's like, okay, uh, 
But for me, I'm retired, so there is no Monday or Friday. Okay, yeah. Always, then for us, it's for us. Saturdays are always our, our our. Let's just say this last Saturday, we don't remember. And Nick doesn't remember after the second drink much. So no, we actually ended up. Have we talked about this though? We were yes. up till one a.m. with our friends on a Facebook chat, not Facebook, a, a Face, FaceTime chat. chat. And so our best friends, Rob and Steve, that yeah. you guys have met, some of you might have seen pictures of with us. Yeah, they were, so. we've been friends with them for many years, and we, do, we did a lot of trips with them, so. Um, Lost, so. I don't even know why so we were you at, why, why, well, Yes, so I was going to ask one more question for you. And when it comes to habits, why do you think we break them so easily why like what what do you think makes us break habits so easily why is it easier to break a habit than it is to create a habit is what i want to know well i'm a food person i, I want to say that I, I grew up with not a lot of money so we were rewarded with food mm. growing up so i think i kept that habit, habit thing you know of saying okay i'm like this COVID thing, it's like, okay, well, let's reward myself. I use food as a my best friend. I reward myself if I'm a little bit depressed, I go for food. If and, I'm happy, I go for food. And it's probably not the food that you choose, like WW would say, you wouldn't know you're not gonna go, oh hey, I want a pee, I want an apple. Yay, I'm rewarding myself, right? No. But creating it never happens with celery. I never eat the whole thing of celery. I still will never I forget. Have. The first time we joined WW in Mississauga, yeah. Battle for yes. Location, and, and we walked in, and they, you the coach chips. Corrine said, at night, when you want chips, have carrots. And I, I turned, carrots. And I turned down, I'm like, that's, like, I'm, that's, not, chips. that's not gonna work that's for me. That's not gonna work for me. That's not gonna work for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, carrots and chips do not have the same texture. They are <laughs> crunchy. Yeah, no. but not the same Both texture. Both crunchy, but guess what? Don't taste the same. Other than, I, hey, I, ca I got them on the carrot french fries, so yes, that I don't think I can make that carrot potato works. chips. But it's so funny that creating habits is, uh, breaking a habit is so much easier. And I think it's because a lot of times we, we, we don't give ourselves enough time to let habits settle yeah. in. Yeah. Right? We discourage ourselves too quickly. Yeah, we, we think do. it's not working and we quit. That's, yeah. that's usually the main thing that ends up happening. Um, so I did want to uh, touch those. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Okay. Have a great Merci, Jose. Yeah. Merci, Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. On t'aime beaucoup. Yeah. So I thought, oh, I will start speaking He's French. Start speaking French now. So and before we talk to the next person, um, Arlene had a question in the chat about the um, how we do our, our weigh-ins. So what happens is your weigh-in day, um, our weigh-in day is actually Saturday, but in the app we actually tell the app that our weigh-in day is Sunday. So it's actually set up in the app as though it's Sunday. So what happens is that our weekly points reset on Mondays instead. So we keep our weeklies all the way to Sunday, and because we eat more on weekends. We tend to keep all our weeklies for Saturday, Sunday for that reason because we know we can control ourselves during the week and the weekends are harder for us. So we planned it that way. So if you have that same problem, you can go in the app and do the same thing. Change your weigh-in day to be at the Sunday and, and still weigh in at your Tuesday whatever workshop is. It'll still count within your week and you'll still get what your wellness wins. But what it does is that now you can keep your weeklies for the weekend if that's, another if that's a time that you end up using most of your weeklies. So for us, we used to always have cheat days on Saturdays. Not anymore. So now we move. They're indulgence days. And we, move, and we move our 42 weekly points on Saturdays. And we have them all yeah. Saturday. So That's, we know we have those points available to us on that point. And all our rollovers, everything we get, it's on Saturday. We just have a great day Saturday. And then Monday we just. And Sunday it's not. Back no, to I, and we don't do that every single no. weekend. No. Yeah. It's like special occasions, certain yeah. things. Yeah. Okay, so we have our next chat already. I, I'm already ahead of time. I pick a I number it. and I find this, find the people. So we have Patricia next. So I'm unmuting her now. Yay, hi Patricia. Hello Patricia from hi. Winnipeg. Hi Patricia, oh hi. look at the kitty in oh. the background. You've won our hearts. <laughs> That's Sylvester. Hi Sylvester. Oh, I love the name too. What a cutie, how old is he? He, believe it or not, is going to be 17. Wow. Years. wow. I hope, I'm so, uh, we, hope, we hope we have them that long. Ours are eight, are eight now? Yeah, they're, they're turning eight, they're in, turning July. eight in July. So we're like every day, like, please live as long as you can. Please, 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 please. Oh, I know. They're like your children. Oh, uh, they are. 
And right now, honestly, being at home with them all the time, it it's changed so such much. a difference, you know, like, cause they see us all the time. And we opened up our spare bedroom, our spare bedroom, where we used to keep all our gym equipment last weekend, we decided to clean. We were like, okay, we can't live. This is not going to become a garage inside it's, the it's condo. It's clean now. <laughs> I'm like, and, and we've always had the bed up because our massage therapist used to come and set up the massage. Th oh, look at Kira with her kitty. Like, Squirrel. Look at in the background. I'm like, you, know, you put a cat in front of my face and I'm going to see it right away, yeah. right? So, oh my goodness, more cats. Aww. Oh. Okay, you guys know how to melt our hearts. It's crazy. It would be crazy. <laughs> We'd own a cat sanctuary if we could. So anyways, let's get back to you. So where are you from? Winnipeg, right? Winnipeg. Cool. You came to my workshop. Yes. I was gonna say after you. Yes, you're a coach, right? Are you? Yes. yes. I, I, was I, so. So. I, I was thought so. I thought so. I was like, she looks so You know familiar. why else too? Because Patricia's actually been like commenting a lot. I, your name is very familiar. I've seen your name a lot recently because I'm not sure if you followed us before, but recently I've seen your name a lot, which is, I love. I love seeing people, like there's a new people on uh, YouTube too that are just started following us, like Baby Doll Janet right there. Uh, we love seeing people start following us and just comment and help us out. So thank you so much, Patricia, for sharing our content. You're welcome. Sunday's going to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Vegas. My friend is actually possibly making me a co-host because I know you guys. Oh, cool! I need to be a co-host in Vegas. Yay! Wow, that's so fun. So, it is. how long have you worked with for WW? How long have you been a coach? It'll be a year in September. Oh, wow. cool! So, what made you decide to become a coach? Hmm, I wonder. Um, I I didn't offer. They came to me. Wow! Look at oh, that. Wow. So that's kind of nice. Well, you see what I do on Winnipeg Connectors yep. and different things like that. And um, um, I guess people like what I do yeah. and they wanted to hire me. That's fantastic. That's so awesome. Cool. <laughs> so how long have you been a member of WW? Um, I joined in February 2017. Wow. And your success? I'm not at goal yet. And when they phoned me to hire me, I said, I can't work for you. I'm not at goal. And they said, that's okay. You're working towards it. And that's what, and that's what I love about they changed this company. That. They that's changed something that. that they've changed. Yeah, why we love should, that. Why, why does someone need to be at goal to work for them in that sense, right? I think it's really important that people know that it's okay to work for a company that's supporting wellness. And it's it's showing that yeah. we're all human, right? Yeah. And I think that's fantastic. And, and that's why I think like, that's why we, our YouTube channel and everything we share with you guys, we share the dark days and the good days because we think that if you if you really wanna help people, you need to show them that it's not always you perfect. You gotta walk the walk you gotta, and talk the You gotta talk. show both sides of the coin because if people think it's perfect, then they see that they're not having a perfect time. Like, why am I the only one that's yeah. not having a perfect time? I love right? the kitty meow. Yeah. No, I heard them in the background. They're talking to us. Hi, kitties. They <laughs> are. <laughs> um, my white guy, um, my white and black guy, Chase, sometimes he's mesmerized when I'm on a Zoom call and he just sits here and stares. It's funny you said that because we were on a quick Zoom call last night for Nick's birthday with some family members and our new baby nephew, our nephew, he's 18 months old and all he did the oh, entire right. time was... He wouldn't, and they're like, talk. they're like, he's normally really talkative. This is really strange. And we're like, probably there's a lot of movement. So, so what do, what do you say about habits? What are your thoughts about habits? Cause as a coach, you must hear this often. Like, I, and, and that's something that we hear often as well Is like a lot of people ask us. And have you, have you coached your habit workshop yet this week? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's I Sunday. had it on Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. And what I did is I had my members bring um, paper and pens and I had them draw their own habit loop and then to put it up wherever their cue was to oh, help them remember. That's cool. Love it. We love visual cues. Uh, they're so important. And for me, um, I'm very proud because water's always been a challenge for me. But I average, I went, I looked at my. Uh... Oh. oh, just one second. We lost connection and here. And I averaged oh, just over 100 ounces over. Did you click the button? No. Button grab it after. I'm here. 
No, okay. sorry, we lost we your lost voice you for, for a second. second. Keep, you can get, we can hear you again now. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, um, I actually average 100 ounces a month, oh. but I want to start drinking water earlier. So I put my habit wheel in my bedroom and I have a covered glass or else the cats will knock it over <laughs> with 500 ml of water. And when I get up, I have to drink that before I leave the bedroom. Wow. But you know what? That's created a habit for yourself. So that's fantastic. Like, I love exactly. that. I know someone, I remember one of the people, uh, someone at a workshop this week said they have a bottle of water in every single room. room. It was that Marla. Was it Marla? It was Marla from, uh, oh, okay. I can't remember. We've been to do too many places. So but nobody she, remembers where we were she yesterday. She has a water bottle in every single room that she always, so that way she can never say, I forgot to bring my water with me. We always have water. Yeah. Like we always have it. This thing is always full. And what we love is that the water's, Another thing, guys. I actually had to put a sticker on mine to so we knew whose is whose. Not that I care, but it's just easier that way. And one thing we want to tell you when it's something that you have to learn how you love your water. So that's one thing that is a very important skill to get because a lot of people think, oh, I hate water, but you have to learn how you enjoy it. Just like everything on this journey, you have to figure that out. For us, it was, okay, I like freezing cold water. So yep. we have tons of ice in our freezer always on the go. Our water has to be purified and that for us works as well. We always have Brita ready to go. Well, our water always has to stay cold, so we have a, 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 a glass insulated that's enough. insulated so that we can have a cold water as long as we can. And that's what works for us. If you're a person who likes teas, then get your water intake using tea. Um, you know, get, make yourself tea more often. Have that as your, as your water, so as your water intake. And so that's, that's, and that's what we want to tell people. Like, I know that for myself, I like water enhancers. If I don't have these in there, I don't tend to drink as much water, and so I use them. And I'm different. I don't drink water enhancers all day. I drink plain water, and then at night is when I drink the water enhancers. Yeah. So that's like that, that's usually how we always say to everybody, explore all the possibilities. Look at everything you're doing and always check to see, okay, is this really the way I like this, or do I want? And. Maybe start asking, is this Why are you doing this now? Well, I just, because I got it. I want yeah. ice. We're on a show right yeah. now. I want ice. I need, yeah, you, you talked about cold water and I want ice. I just want to You don't have to clean the place. You were bugging me. We had corn. I, I know, but we're doing so, a show. You almost have to the ask kitchen. yourself, <laughs> you almost have to ask yourself, is this something that, can that I can create a habit of? Yeah. Maybe that's a question we need to start asking ourselves more yeah. often. Is, like, is today, this something I can see myself doing for a lengthy period of time. Because we're trying to keep on running today. So we've yeah. decided, guys, so everybody who follows us with our workouts, we will be not as on as often anymore because we decided running is something we're going to embrace. Yeah. And now. because it is nice outside and we love early mornings, it's the, the weather is fantastic. But we're not setting lofty goals. We're not yes. going to do it every day. No. We said one day a week. One day a week. We're going to try it one day a week and try to make that a habit to have one day where we go out for a run. And so, what's, so what we're going to do is try to have, Try to reach that that goal, yeah. and so if we do that, and we do it for a few weeks, it'll become a habit, and that's what we did with body body step. Body step, when we first started, it was not like it was like as a get go, and we could do it every day. No. We, eventually, after two three weeks, it became it became what we wanted to do, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just become part of our regular routine. We yeah. made it into a habit. So, and sometimes we don't think you. Sometimes you just don't realize that you've created a habit. Yeah, so I think sometimes. Don't. You finally go, oh, wait a minute, that's a habit I have. Yeah. How can I either break it or how can I, how can I make the habits that I currently even have maybe be beneficial to my journey instead of detrimental to my journey, right? So taking, those, yeah. taking a look at all the habits you have and that you know of, because sometimes you don't know you have them, um, and, and maybe trying to tweak them instead of making these huge changes or creating these new habits that you might not be able to keep because they're new. And I, I know it sounds funny, but it is harder to create new habits the older you get, I think, right? They always say it, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? But it's right? like learning a language. We're it's, getting older, it's, so. It's like learning a language. Yeah. When you learn a language, you're a child, you're a sponge. sponge. You, just you absorb everything. everything. But as an adult, yeah. we tend to like, I don't know, it's it's like our brains are already full with so much else we get jaded, we get jaded. As, you're, as a kid, you're open to everything. You're not, you, you don't, you don't have all these things that you've learned throughout the years that says this is bad, that's good. You're just 
You have no prejudices, so you just accept everything as at face value. It says you get older, you you start realizing and learning lessons that you're like, oh, I won't, I don't trust well, that so much and now then, because and then I this guess too. There's there's the idea of bias, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah prejudice. Like yeah. you 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 start eventually having. And those are taught. Unfortunately, yeah. I'm a firm believer that we are taught a lot of stuff in today's world in today's society. Uh, yeah. It's not innate. So again, we have to teach ourselves how to create these habits and how yep. to be good to ourselves. Yeah. So thank you so much for chatting with us, Patricia. And you know, it's funny or Trish, You're Trish. And, and please, I, I, every time I like your comments, I just, I know I've seen your name a lot. So I just want to thank you again so much because you have to understand guys, the only way that we get more people to see us or get our, our recipes out there, it's you guys. We don't advertise at all. We all we do is our page and our YouTube stuff. We don't pay for advertising or anything because we don't, we don't want to. We don't want. We want to become. We want to become by word of mouth, the actual true word of mouth. That's what we want to become. Like people find out of us because they heard yeah, from someone else. We love, it. we love that people are want to share our content. Yeah, that's. I think that makes it. So more I just want to thank you. Well, thanks for your help too on the connectors when I tag you guys. Oh, you're oh, so you're welcome. welcome. Your input. Oh, you're so welcome. And God, I'm hoping the tips we said we said this week helped out. Yes. Awesome. Thanks again, Patricia. You're welcome. See you Sunday. See you, See you Sunday. Sunday. Woohoo, Las Vegas. I've never been to Vegas before. Me neither. How much money are we going to spend? Well, we've been there once. <laughs> we've been there once in a workshop. In a workshop. But this yeah. is our second. Yes, second yeah, but I'm, I'm just being funny. Okay. So we already have, so this will be our last person that we chat with for the night because it is eight o'clock, but I wanted to get at least this one more person in. So her name is Teresa. Teresa. And I know she's still here. So let me unmute her. Uh, right here. Hi, Teresa. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Where are you from? Uh, Stouffville. Stouffville. Oh, okay. Not too far. Not too far. Very cool. Have we met before? No. I was going to say, we know a lot of Stouffville people. We know a lot of Stouffville people. I was going to say, you don't look familiar. So, are you a new no. Stouffville person or have you been with WW for a while? I have been with WW since the 90s. Oh, wow. Um, I got to gold in the 90s. Um, oh my gosh, so long ago after I had my second child. And uh, then I was away for a long time. Everything was fine. And then it creeped back on. And so a few years ago, I dragged a couple of friends with me and said, we're going back to waiting. Love it. But it's so, you know, this time I've just been struggling with those. I'm about five pounds above lifetime right now, thanks to COVID, which is just, you know, wonderful. Um, so it's kind of like up and down every week. It's like, oh, I'm down a pound. Oh, I'm up a pound. Oh, I'm down a pound. So. Right, right, right. Which I see, I understand it's frustrating. I can see that. But would you be up more if it wasn't for WW? Oh, my goodness. Unbelievably, just and and why is what I do? What I do to relieve my stress is I bake. So this is a bad combination. It is because now you're in your kitchen all the time and you have the availability. I'm definitely a lifetime member. I have done this my whole life, and every decision is always. Always, you know, those things are just in there. They're just ingrained. I cook differently now than I did 30 years ago. Yeah. I shop differently. Well, it's WWWDD. What would Weight Watchers do? WWWWD. Four W's and a D. So, so true. So, true. What's funny is because a lot of the tip, like the the one trick that I always say, I learned from Jean Luc, even before we were Weight Watchers members, was the salad dressing on the side and use your fork Fourth to dip, and dip it, it in, in and have your salad. When I first that met him, like, I met that was a trick he taught me even before we were Weight Watchers members. And that was my mom's trick that she learned at one of her mm -hmm. first WW workshops. And to this day, we still yeah. use this trick all the time. We don't like having too much dressing in our salads now because we think well, when we have when we go to restaurants, we get a Caesar salad and it's so drenched. We're like, Ugh. oh. Like, I can't mm -hmm. take it anymore. I, I can't have that, many, that much dressing Unless anymore. it's a really, 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 like, really good. Amazing. Yeah. And that means it's got to be, like, impeccable. Yeah, impeccable. Like, you know, like... Right. <laughs> like Ray Poupon <laughs> of, uh, of Caesar <laughs> dressings. Back in the 90s. Like, that's, that's one of the original, original um, hacks, we'll say. And that's a habit. Yeah. That's a yeah. habit right there. 
that we've learned and now we've implemented for years now. Yeah. So yes, it is a habit. So that's it right there. Mm -hmm. there's, there's an example where there's something you think is so minute. And I even think of it till right now that that's a habit. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And so, um, have your, so from the first time you did WW, like you said, and now, now you're back, have you, have you seen how your habits have changed even from then to now? I'm sure some of them have stayed the same, but have some of them, like, I'm sure your habit, but mo some of them must have changed. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure that, I don't really remember, remember what I did so much back in the 90s. It was more a case of learning all about portion control and, you know, how to cook lighter, that sort of yeah. thing. So I think I brought a lot of those habits into now. Like when I think back to how many things we used to deep fry, who deep fries anything when they cook now, right? Like never, but everything would be deep fried or well, layered in sauce, layered in cheese. Now it's all about food real food. That's so funny you say that though, because I growing up with my family would have fondue. We love fondue, but ours was an oil fondue. It was never yeah. anything until I met Nick's family, which they do fondue chinois, which is a wine broth Fondue. Zero points. Zero points. Uh, and we actually plan. We actually oh, want it's to do, amazing. It's amazing. We want to do it as a recipe someday, but just it's a lot of work. It's a lot, it's of, a work. lot of work. So and, you, and it's you need to make sure that your your slices. Well, okay, we will promise. Yes, we will probably get promise in a one day when we're doing this this yeah, thing, workshop roulette. workshop roulette. We will have fondue, and, and we'll, we'll show, show you guys, guys how what to do. it is. All it, it is is it's red wine or white wine with. Uh, chicken broth and you steam it you boil it on the oven so you're boiling out on all the, the on the stove on, on the stove <laughs> and you boil it out all the alcohol but you yeah. add spices to it and this and that and then you cook your meat in it you, you have it on a fondue on a, pot. In a, on a flame and then you put mm -hmm. your, your vegetables your, and your, your chicken thinly sliced and your... chicken your thinly sliced turkey if you want beef you can do mm -hmm. beef and you just you have vegetables in it as well, and it's amazing. And at the end, what you do is you take an egg and you crack it in and you, you and whisk you it and you egg, make an egg drop soup egg with drop the rest of the broth. the broth. So all the vegetables you ate, all that good nutrients that was boiled into the soup, the, the broth, it now becomes, becomes your soup. soup. So it's a really good thing and it's mm -hmm. all it's all zero point, the, the entire only, meal. Yeah, the only points that you would count are sauces. Yes. You can make a Which, bunch of zero point sauces with yeah. some yogurt. So we'll do it one night because we I know we plan to film the recipe yeah, at some it. point. It's one we have a list of about 30 recipes. It's just recipe filming mm -hmm. takes a long time, guys. It's a very hard process. We have to plan it, make sure we have time. It's not an easy process. <laughs> but it's funny that you were saying that because that's that that whole idea of what you think was a habit on foods that you used to have can now become newly reinvented habits, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted to bring out with that is like, when you said fondue, I was like, oh wow, that's true. I never thought about that. But these deep fried foods that we had back in the day, which you barely see, look, unless you go look, up to a look restaurant. Look at us, now. look at us, spring rolls. We don't buy them anymore. We used to buy them pre-packaged, pre-made. We buy our own spring roll wrappers now yep. and we fill them with our own stuff. So we know the points exactly of what's going in there. We know the, the vegetables are, are zero point. And so we, we've learned now, because you know what guys, to be honest, a lot of these things we eat, if you buy the, the, the version that's made in stores, the nutritional factors includes all the vegetables as part of that recipe. And so when you're putting in a recipe builder, it doesn't know that there's actually chicken in there, there's actually vegetables in there. It doesn't realize that. It puts the entire nutrients of the full thing inside as points. If you build it yourself and you know you're putting all vegetables inside that spring roll and the only thing is a spring roll wrapper is your points, you know the exact point of that yeah. meal. And that's what's, that's what's well, changed not only that, for us. A lot of all of those pre-packaged foods are already pre-deep fried or pre-cooked and you don't know oh, how the they're pre-cooked. So there's oil in there somewhere yeah. for sure. And that's been a big trick yeah. for us. I saw, and I'm, I'm calling out Heather today because she posted that she made our marinara sauce today. And she was saying that how usually she doesn't like marinara sauce because it's usually too sweet. And so she, she made her own today from her own batch. And I'm telling you right now, Heather, since we've been doing the same thing, we love our sauce. We will not buy, will not any buy it anymore. jarred sauce. If I don't have mm -hmm. my sauce in the fridge, we're not having anything tomato. Like... And I don't get me wrong, I will sometimes use the jars of like tomato, like just puree, plain, puree so plain. it's plain tomato puree, mm -hmm. if I don't have to make sauce, I'd rather use fresh tomatoes though, yeah. but I will never use a jarred like ragu anymore. anymore. Yeah, no. Nope. I just, I don't find, I don't enjoy it as much. Yeah. Well, I can say one of the habits that I have been working on, and I got it actually from you guys this week on one of your things I was listening to, because you said, 
you got rid of all of your drinks that don't have points in them, and that's why you drink so much water. And I started thinking about the habit I've developed since we've been home, and that's I'm a professional coffee drinker. Every day, all day long, and it's just been sneaking up and sneaking up, and mm -hmm. I put milk in my coffee, so it's points, points, uh, points, all these coffees. Yeah. So this week I started limiting myself to two coffees a day. And cut Love it, that. and it, I'm saving points off my day, which I want for the evening. Because, like you guys, I'm an evening snacker, so I'm trying to. I like, love what you just know, did. Two more points, he's like, oh yeah, I can go have whatever. <laughs> and two points, you just one more for popcorn. Like, yeah. you know I mean, that's that's a big difference in a coffee that you're just drinking for that one moment when you can have a full bowl of popcorn. And that's the thing. It's a lot. It's a, the whole. We always tell people the program is like a bank account. If you walk into a store and you see there's a dress there, a pair of pants there, a purse there, and you're like, what do I want? I only have 25 bucks. What am I going to do today? I really want that dress is 25, but if I get the shoes and the belt, that's like 13. Oh, maybe I'll get the shoes and the belt. And that's what this whole program is with the food. You have to look at your day, your week and say, how do I want to spend it this week? And a lot of people say, but that's a lot of work. But life is a lot of work. You work for your jobs. You work for your families. You do all this for everything else. Why won't you do that for your own body and your own health? But I also love what you said right there is you're not depriving yourself from your coffee. You did not say, I'm not having coffee for five days and I'm only allowed to have coffee too. No, you're like, I need my coffee. So I'm allowed to have my two coffees. Instead of the 12 that I was having, I can have two. And I'm still gonna yeah. survive. Like, I've done this to myself too, because I'm drinking a lot of coffee. I usually only had one coffee back in the day, but I drink it black, so I just don't like what it does to me if I drink too much. I get the shakes. Like, it just well, gives me that whole. <laughs> I'm guaranteeing the second he stops drinking coffee every day, he'll have, have, he'll have headaches for weeks, because yeah. that's what always happens. Yeah. I know, but I love my. I, <laughs> I, I found a flavored coffee, not a flavored coffee. I've never thought I would like a Starbucks coffee as much as I have. But it's the uh, blonde roast. Like, I love their blonde roast coffee. It is insane. I never thought I would think, oh, I need a specific roast of a coffee. And I love, it. I, love it I love what Sherry just said here in chat on Zoom. She said, the biggest habit we all need to work on is to give ourselves permission to put ourselves in the time needed to truly work the program first in our wow, lives. Wow, Sherry, that's it, phenomenal. That's exactly it. And I think that's completely encompasses what we, what we try to tell everyone. This, this is work. We're not saying that doing this is not the easy route. You know, it's not like we can do whatever we want. We, we do structure things, we plan things, and that, it is work. But we want to live as long as we can and be healthy as long as we can. And so the work right now we're doing is worth future term. It's worth for what we're going to get out of it. And of course, it's not guaranteed. We can't guarantee life. But at least we're doing something to make it somewhat better on us and easier on us. Because we saw where we were heading. We know where we were going. You guys saw pictures this week of my, of uh, our before and afters this week. We, the one I posted on my birthday we were, uh, when we were camping. And so we knew where we were, we remember those trips. Jean-Luc, you put a video on our Actually, Facebook Actually, that group. weekend, I will never forget that weekend because right before we left for that weekend, I was at the doctor's office because I was feeling like there was something wrong with me. And yeah. I will never forget that. I was paranoid all week because I was not feeling good and they couldn't and I did not know what was wrong with me and Nick's like okay well I'm not going camping this weekend unless we go to the doctor so we went to the doctors and it was just me and my anxiety Charlotte is a very big hypochondriac I'm hypochondriac I still, still are am, but nowhere near as bad as, as bad. I used to be we knew the cycle yes he'd be was... fine January to September September hit he would have a yeah. Everything he was, and he this, was, he was dying. Like everything was like his May foot hurts. Was, May was an anomaly, anomaly that year because yeah. normally I'm not. No, because mad. It, cause what happened is that beginning when we first met, it was always, but then it started spreading to yeah. other because our health got so bad that so he bad. got worried often. Yeah. Like we've been to the doctors thinking we were having a heart attack. Both of us have ha that's happened to us. We've both been to the doctors thinking we we're each having a heart attack because we, we had so much pain in our chest. We've been, I've been to the doctors where I was put on IV because I had a flu and I couldn't breathe well, which kind of right now the whole pandemic puts that into perspective. And we don't want to be down the line where we didn't try at least to be as healthy as possible. Yeah. And not saying that we have to be perfect every day. It's not no about being perfect, a, perfect, a perfect person. And the fact it. that that we don't eat out sometimes, that we don't have pancakes at 11 a.m. and put it on the next day's points. 11 like, p.m. Like we do, oh, 11 p.m., yeah, sorry. Like we mm -hmm. do still do these things, but most of the time we try to be as healthy as it's we can. I wanted cake. <laughs>
Yeah. But again, it's living that whole idea of 80-20. 80-20, right? Thinking if I have three indulgent meals in a week, I'm still 85% on plan. On par. On par. On, I'm, on I'm goal. 85%. Yeah. And if no one is happy with 85%, I would be extremely proud yeah. of it. Yeah, eighty five percent is more and, than. And a to pass. be honest, I think eighty five percent is what makes life sustainable. Yeah. Because uh, living something at hundred percent all the time. Imagine if you were doing your job at hundred percent all the time. They would never let you not work. Well, not just that, you'd burn out. Yeah. So if you think of the same thing on a journey, and you're trying to get healthy, if you're gonna do things hundred percent all the time, you will burn out. But I think what ends up happening too is this eighty five percent also fluctuates right yeah. this 80 20 fluctuates there's gonna be weeks that i'm a hundred percent i am a hundred percent this week and i this know week, I was. I'm, I'm 10 but this week is a 15 percent yes and it's learning <laughs> how to make sure that december you 2019 <laughs> December, that was a zero. We were was, negative one hundred percent. Negative one hundred percent. Negative one hundred percent. No, it wasn't actually. I am not. No, lying. no, no, no. We, we were, were at a seventy percent at least. No, maybe no, no, no. sixty. Thirty. We still ate eighteen 45. bags of chips. <laughs> oh, I'm giving it a fifty. No. Yeah. Are you? Are you but not, we still uh, made better choices than yeah. we ever would have exactly. if it wasn't for what we know now. If yeah. it wasn't for the habits that we've created and that we were able to still. Throughout the muck and the crap that we go through on a daily basis to be able to pull out these little tricks that make us veer back and yeah. just have that one thought of, oh, wait a minute here, hearing Leslie Sandstone say, walk, 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 right, Nicole? Having those little things that make us trigger positivity <laughs> and make us think how good we are at what we're doing yeah. is so important. I want to tell them what we did after work today. Oh sure. So after I don't remember today, what we did. You will, you will, you will, you will. So after, so this week on on uh, sorry, I'm just very top. I just want to talk about this squirrel, squirrel. So on Wednesday this week, I actually had we had no workshops because I was actually running a a workshop oh, that, 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 at work this week. I actually John Luke and I actually presented as a WV gays for work. There was SVPs from our company. There was people from all around where we work watching our like us present and at the end we actually did a walk 15 but we made it up ourselves well we, we actually had leslie on the screen so we had leslie but on then the screen, we put our own music so we put our it. own music and then we made our own moves and then tonight after work we actually did the same thing we put music on we just put the video on and we just looked at it okay she's doing this now okay we'll do this to the beat of this song and then we made up our own it was routine. a lot of fun guys i would really suggest you guys doing that because sometimes you know you're seeing them and don't get me wrong i love leslie i love her the attitude, music I love sometimes that. but sometimes i want i want music i just i don't i know the moves now i'm getting familiar with that so, I want to have something different. So, so what we did is we either. turned on a TV and had her on our and TV, then had but the on, our, our, on, our, on our speaker, we had different music. But so we were still walking to Leslie Sandstone, yeah. different, st different speed, of course, because our music was either faster or slower than hers, but we were still walk, walk, walk. And then when she would do arms up, we're like, okay, arms up. So you're still doing the same moves, just at a different, at your favorite music, With right? your favorite music. Yeah. So it was so a really it was, way, it was a great way, a great way to adapt. Yeah. Because we are the, we are, we are uh, the creatures of things get boring for us after a while. Doing the same things over, that's why we change it up all the time. That's why you guys have noticed we do body step and then we switch to something else. We like changing things up because it makes things fresh. It makes, it also changes. My hips are so like sore and strong right now from running the five, the 10K I ran earlier this week. I will say this too, and I can, I'm very happy because why the when we first started, I was getting a lot of Charlie horses. Yeah. And I'm not getting them nowhere nearly as much as I have been. And I stretch a lot. Like I'm yes. stretching all the time. And I'm that's stretching why. all day. That's and, why. Yeah, so it makes a huge difference. So never forget to stretch everybody. Please, please, please. Thank you so much for chatting with us, Teresa. We have like 34 people in the room with us. Thank you. It's nice to finally meet you guys. I've been following you for a long time. Oh, thank so, you. So you know. So, it was very exciting for me. Do you know Paula then? Uh, no, I actually don't go to Stovall for many meetings. I go to Vancouver Park Fest. Oh, oh, okay. so definitely Della. So you know Della. Uh, yeah, Della, Mary Jane, and Anna are there. Cool. Yeah, so you know Della. Yeah, so you Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, we love we love them. They're amazing. They're yeah. absolutely awesome. And she has her own job. Yeah, she has yes, her own yeah, Della's voice. If yeah. men, if she has any, her own show. She's actually a um, a WW coach, and she has a talk show on you on Facebook um, that she yeah. has some really great guest speakers, yeah. and she's she she had us. She interviewed us as well. So yeah. I would recommend her to anybody. 
And yeah. she does kickboxing classes too. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. So thank you so Thanks much, Teresa. Can. Nice chatting with you. So I'm just muting and yeah. then we can finish the show. So thank you so much, Thanks, everyone. Facebook. Okay, Thanks, okay. Facebook. I have to say something. This was so much fun. It was fun. I oh love this. I, I love doing this. Like this. I as hope much you as guys enjoy this. And I know we wish we could get more people in, and we yeah. promised ourselves a timer. We, and forgot. we forgot. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm not gonna start it tonight. We'll do it next time. It's too hard though. But I don't the, like cutting people off. No, I don't off. like cutting. But you know what? I feel bad because I think we just go blah 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 blah, and the poor person is like, I'd like to talk. <laughs> I'm like, I'm well, like, it is us. Sometimes I'm like, we won't shut up. We won't lie. When we show up to workshops, we tell everyone we, we don't shut up. Please we know. tell us, and if we, we will talk not too much. get insulted yeah. if anyone tells us. Okay, Jean Luc, uh, enough, guys. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. I mean, we like to participate, and we try to participate as much as we can, and we don't ever want to take control over no, anything. No. Although we know we take control over this because yes, this, this is, is our us show. setting it up, mind you. But in the same fact, we <laughs> love hearing from you guys, and yes. we love just these these chats that have really. Like we like switching. We like that we switched it like this. We really enjoy the weekly uh, workshop roulette. And again, yes, we're going to be doing it next week. We, yeah. It's coming back next Friday. We're going to be doing it again. We love doing this. We're going to keep doing it as long as we can. Summer months, we probably will have if days off. If you guys off. have any suggestions or ideas on how we can make this better, better we are always open to that. Please let us know. Like, please, give us please, feedback. Please. Yeah. We love some feedback on whatever you think works, doesn't work, what we can improve on. We would just absolutely we're adaptable we, we we think change is good and feedback is even better so thank you so Thanks much again everybody so we will zoom you guys you can guys stay can on stay zoom stay on if you're in zoom you can keep we're gonna say goodbye to facebook, Bye, facebook. And, and youtube Bye, you guys, guys have a great night. night thank you so much for joining us and Susanna, i'm so sorry about the mix up with the zoom chat Next time we'll figure out, I'll, I'll, I'll let you in. Next time we'll fix your name up so that it doesn't, that was her. Oh. And I kicked her out by mistake because I, I wouldn't, I don't take a chance anymore. I don't want us yeah. to get, get bombarded yeah, again. Yeah, we don't want porn on no, our show. No, no porn. So, so thank you so much, guys. Have a great night. Bye. See you tomorrow, Saturday dance party. We have a new song that we're obsessed with. We're sure going to play Oh my God. Night. La Vida. <laughs> it's such a, it's actually, yeah, it's a cool song. Yeah, we'll play it tomorrow. It's called, uh, uh, Arriba. 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 Bye. Bye, everybody.